Okay, so now we are connected with this database, right? So if you go and click on this view button, view, and then there is this option called as DBA. Click on that, and then you will get a new connection. Just click on this plus button, select your connection, and now you'll get all performance and DBA task related options here within your SQL developer. So for example, you want to generate the AWR report using SQL developer, go to the performance option and then click on the AWR report. Click on yes and then AWR report viewer and then so go to this drop down. Uh, 58. And 59. Yeah, so now it's generating report for you. Within your SQL developer. So now you need not to go to your uh, system and then you know transfer or do the SCP and move your files. Now there is this another button called as open in the browser. Cl click on that and it will automatically uh, frame that report into your uh, browser. So the report is ready now. You can go and you know do your analysis. OK. Yeah. We can also and run the ADDM report, right? Yes, you can also run the ADDM report as well. You can also run ash report as well. Right, you can check the baseline templates. You can uh, look out for uh, the performance snapshots as well. Right, you can also perform some data pump specific uh, operations as well. Like you keep keep an eye on the important ex export jobs. Right, and what else we have in the DBA tab is the resource manager and also storage details about the archive log control files, and we've got a tuning option real time SQL monitor as well. If you've got Let's go and click on this option. For example, if you want to check for the last five minutes, click on this uh, report generation button and wait for some time. <clears throat> so this is the ash report, right? It has a, again all of these sections are empty because this data value we just started, right? So this is just a test DB. And apart from that, there is this database configuration. Like if you want to check about the initialization parameters, automatic and do management recommendations, right? And uh, database status. And there is this instance viewer option. Like if you want to check about, uh, you know, about the sessions, about the weights, about the current SQLs that are running into this database. So you can go and execute this, this SQL. I mean this option, sorry, instance viewer. So right now you can see uh, the, the graphs are now started populating. So number of sessions for this 19C test database. So all of them are inactive except one of the connections, right? And we've got some weight specific information as well, like uh, we see some blue color that is a user IO, and then we've got some sky blue that says system IO, and then some orange color which says some configuration specific, right? You can also check number of processes and uh, MB per second information, number of client connected, average response time of the database. What is the execution rate, the parse rate, open cursor, commit rate, and also the top SQLs, right? You can check like all of them are internal SQL that are running at the moment because no one is, uh, nothing is the, is part of the user IO. I mean, I'm, I haven't manually ran anything on this DB, so that's why all of them are actually some default uh, uh, windows like this begin DBMS underscore auto report. So these are all some internal and recursive operations within the database. So it's just showing you that, that's it. Right, you can also go and check the memory and the storage specific details about this database server, like uh, the DB block, rate and the logical reads the storage data temporary and table space specific so you've got all sort of graphs here sga which is currently is uh, currently used right and next is the status if you want to click on status like this is the status database is an open state up since this time database instance name is this then click on the second oracle host oracle home details tns listener details so it, it actually got everything like if you want to do some initial screening of any database and if you want to, you know, generate any performance report. So you've got SQL developer also, which can do uh, really magic and especially in the case when you do not have direct access to the box. OK. And can we also run the tuning advisor? Yes, you can. 
Yeah. Yes, you can. Of course, SQL developer directly on the SQL developer, you can you can always run, right? Of course, not using the uh, the SQL T RPT dot SQL file, but use creating SQL sets. That's always possible, right? Can you just show me actually? The, it will help. No, no. Using SQL set man, using execute SQL set DBMS underscore uh, SQL sets, like that's correct. I mean, I'm. It's not option that you'll see in the DBA tab, but what I'm saying is like in uh, as far as creating uh, SQL tuning recommendations, so you can always go and generate the SQL tuning sets or, or create the SQL tuning sets. Have you ever tried creating the SQL tuning sets and then get the SQL tuning report? No. OK, there is a way manual method. SQL tuning sets. Oracle. STS. OK. Yeah, that's a manual method. For example, if you're using SQL developer, of course, then you do not have direct access to this to the uh, to the directory or uh, to the operating system. Correct. So in that case, you can go and create SQL tuning sets directly from the SQL uh, developer. And if you have OEM, of course, it's possible through OEM. Like you know, what it's they are showing is the OEM method. And this is the manual method. DBMS underscore SQL tune. OK. okay. All right, all good about this DBA tab of SQL developer. Yeah. OK. Which version is this for SQL developer? This I think is the latest one after that o o 4J problem. Yeah, this is the latest one, 21. Dot. But I think I'm 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 using this option from last uh, six or seven years, right? So this is not a new thing that is added to SQL Developer. It's it it's there. It was there since the beginning, I guess. Not from the beginning, but at least from last six years. So it's, it's still there. Okay. Okay. 